Hi everyone, welcome back to news updates, thoughts and stuff number four with a few frequently asked questions thrown in at the end. Uh, first I want to get started by thanking everyone for contributing to our Grow Grip Kickstarter campaign. We still have a week left. We did make it over our $5,000 goal and we're just under our $10,000 goal. We're really hoping to get over our $10,000 stretch goal. So if you're interested in contributing to the campaign, I'll leave a link in the description field below. Even though it's still the dead of winter, we are planning for our spring open house, which will be the weekend of May 17th. And you can go to bigelowbrook.com slash tours for more information about that as we develop the program. I am thinking about doing some unbiased product reviews. I use a lot of different things here in the greenhouse and have a few opinions about them one way or the other. And every so often somebody sends me a product that they want me to take a look at and talk about. So just be warned, I may give good, I may give bad reviews, and if you want to send me something, feel free to do so. Last, I am planning on doing an expansion outside of the greenhouse. I'm thinking about trying to integrate the greenhouse growing with some outdoor growing all under the same loop and basically run it during the summer and then shut it down over the winter. So hopefully this summer I'll get to building most of that and it should be interesting to see how well you can expand and shrink a system over the different seasons. Now on with some frequently asked questions. Number one, do you put fish in your raft beds? Do you see any problems with having fish, crayfish, or shrimp in the raft beds? What type might be okay and what type would you avoid? Well, I did originally start some koi in my raft beds, but it turned out to be a big mistake. They did take care of the mosquitoes that were growing in there, but soon after that, they went after the roots of all the plants and really stunted the growth. There just wasn't much left to them after that. Um, I did also have a crayfish in there. They basically did the same thing. They went after all the dead organic material and then once the beds were cleaned up, uh, they started getting into the roots of the plants and starting to eat them a little bit. They also scared the daylights out of me when I pull out a raft and there's a crayfish in the middle of it when I wasn't expecting it. Number two, do you sell plans or books about building aquaponics systems? No, I don't. Any of the drawings that I do are really just for diagrams of the videos. I honestly don't want to have to take the time to draw up detailed plans of everything and hopefully within the videos I produce enough details in them to provide you enough information to get you on your way. So there are no detailed plans that I uh, want to sell and frankly there's probably not a big enough market for me to take the time to develop all these plans and try to sell a couple dollars here and there. So unfortunately there are no plans available from Bigelow Brook. Number three. Does a raft system need a certain water depth that is ideal? Not that I know of. Um, all my rafts, they are built at 12 inches, so I have about 11 inches of water in them. And I'm finding that that is more than deep enough for the rafts. Uh, any of my lettuce plants, even though the roots look really long, they basically are floating along the top of the water. So they really only consume about three to four, five inches at most of the uh, top level of the water. Anything that's below that is basically just extra water storage space. So I have probably would have no problem seeing beds that are six inches or so. Um, you would have to be careful not to clog up the entire bed, so it's nice to make sure you do have some water flow in there. So maybe eight inches at minimum would be a, a good number for that. All of my beds are set at 12 inches, mainly because I wasn't sure originally if I was going to make them filled with gravel or with rafts. So all my gravel beds are 12 inches and my raft beds are 12 inches. So that's it for our frequently asked questions. And I'd like to thank you for watching and also don't forget about supporting our Grow Grip project. We'll see you soon. So if you're inter... <coughs> There's a link in the description bar and let me know, let me know what you think about uh, me doing. <clears throat> Lastly, I think I am planning on doing awesome. Number two, number two, number two, number two, number two.